All right, so this is a tag video. I am long overdue on this. I think it was about a week ago. Um, Ross from TLTG did a tag video and tagged several reviewers, including myself. Um, finally getting around to doing this. And it is essentially four fragrances that I was looking forward to that basically underwhelmed. You know, they just, <laughs> once you got them, didn't live up to the hype or at least the expectations that you had in your head as far as what they would be. So, I have actually more than four. Uh, I'm going to narrow it down to four just to keep with the tag, and then I'll have some honorable mentions. Um, or, and one of them is going to be grouped because they're very, in my opinion, similar fragrances. So, I'm going to start this with one that has been very hyped in the community, um, and this is Prada Carbon. So, a lot of you all love this. You know, it's a higher end or better smelling Sauvage. It smells like just Sauvage with Embroxen toned down slightly and the lavender like really amped up. It smells a lot like Sauvage though. Extremely redundant, overhyped. To me, it, it does what Sauvage does, but then plays it safe, which kind of, in my opinion, defeats the whole purpose of Sauvage. Sauvage is supposed to be a loud, tension grabbing, you know, it just kind of screams off your skin, gets you noticed. Well, this does that and then dials it back, which to me, it's kind of redundant. If you have Sauvage and just not really, it's pretty much pointless in my opinion. Um, I'm a huge fan of Sauvage because I get that, like, but I would just wear Sauvage Parfum over this. If you want something smoother that doesn't smell as childish or as loud and obnoxious, get the Parfum. It smells better in my opinion than this and it stays true to the Sauvage DNA. So Prada Illusion Carbon is my number one. Number two, I don't even have the real one anymore because that's how underwhelming it was. And I know a lot of you love this too. So again, this is going to be controversial. This isn't the actual one, but it is Aqua de Joe Profondo. I have Profondo lights. I have Profondo lights because I traded or got rid of Aqua de Joe, Aqua de Joe Profondo after I picked up lights. My opinion, lights is way better. So Profondo is, in my opinion, the most generic of the Aqua de Joe DNA. It takes Aqua de Joe and tries to make it just become a blue fragrance instead of an aquatic fragrance. It just smells like a fresh, clean blue fragrance. Very boring in my opinion. It loses a lot of the Aqua de Joe DNA in my opinion. And just becomes this very, just play it safe, mass appealing, boring fragrance. This takes the Profundo DNA, adds some greenness to it, and makes it smell more marine. Almost makes it smell more niche, but it allows it to actually still smell like the actual ocean in some ways and also still stay true to that mass appeal factor. Way more interesting in my opinion, smells way better in my opinion. And for people that I've asked close up which one they prefer, they've chosen this. So I recommend Profundo Lights while it's still available. It is a limited run, but you can still get it. Definitely recommend this over Profundo. I think Profundo is a pass. So that's my number two. Number three on here is also another overly hyped one in my opinion and that is Tarafi by Ofnon. This is a Tiger clone. Some people say it's a Blue de Chanel clone. It is, it's more of a Tiger clone than a Blue de Chanel clone. It smells alright. It smells alright. Uh, definitely not bad for the money. I just think it's overhyped. You know, it, it smells decent, yes. Um, there's just a lot better Tiger clones out there in my opinion. You know, a, a Black Panther from Alexandria Fragrances being the number one, in my opinion, um, of the clones, not including Parfum Vintage, which I have not tried because the, the pricing is ridiculous. So, I would just choose Black Panther over this. I think this is okay. I just don't think it lives up to the hype. And in that same line, I also don't think, I can't remember the name of it, whatever the Angel Share clone is by this Latafa. I think that's trash too. It smells nothing like Angel Share. Uh, it just smells like a cinnamon bomb with some praline. So, though that is number three. Number four is a two that I'm going to put together. And this is Mason, or MFK's Aqua Universalis. And then the other one is going to be Aqua Vita. This entire line, in my opinion, the fresh ones, they smell like... I don't know, a uh, fabric softener or like a shampoo maybe. They don't smell like, they're boring. They're boring, they smell like soap. You know, 
Um, I don't see the mass appeal. I don't see paying insane niche prices to smell like soap. I think these are ridiculous in my opinion. I, it's not the entire line. MFK makes some good stuff. I just think those two are trash. Um, now, the Aqua Celestial, is it the, yeah, Aqua Celestial, that one I like. That one I think is probably the best of the fresh ones. Uh, that said, though, I, I think a lot of them are, you know, Mastian Plurel is all right. Those two specifically just smell like soap to me. I think they're a waste of money. So those are grouped together uh, as four. Two honorable mentions. I do like these, so that's why they're honorable mentions. But I will say they, they did not meet the expectations that I had on them. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to have a third just because I just thought of one. One of them is Pegasus by the House of Parkers of Marley. This is, in my opinion, a overly, it's just too sweet and too powdery. It comes off feminine. It's got almond-based fragrance with a metallic tinge. Uh, and it just smells kind of, I don't know, boring. Like I said, very feminine. I prefer, over this, prefer the exclusive by far. So to me, this is underwhelming. It's not, I don't ever wear it. I would say the same for Leighton Exclusive. I looked really for Leighton Exclusive. Kept hearing it's a darker take on Leighton. It's more sexy. It's more sensual. It's more interesting. Got it, and it was a dud. It was... I, I'm not a fan of Animalic. The civet in there killed it for me. As much as I wanted to like it, the dry down, it smelled like just poop. Uh, mixed in with Leighton DNA, and it just killed it for me. You know, I couldn't get over that. So... I'm not a fan of that. I do like Pegasus Exclusive. This does not have civet in it. It just has the woods in it. Makes it nice, more masculine version. I think the way Leighton Exclusive should have done, in my opinion, is they should have added a nice incense note um, to kind of give it this nice darkness and a touch of leather, but not an animatic leather, not an in-your-face leather, a small touch with some incense, like a smoky incense, not barbecue smoke, but a nice kind of smoky incense. I think it would have been killer. Absolutely amazing, but nonetheless, obviously, they didn't do that. This one, again, is good. It's good. I think it's overhyped. And this office for men. I do like this. I never wear it, as you can tell. You can see the top. Because it's just an Ambroxan bomb. It smells like Ambroxan and citrus. If I'm going to do that, I'll wear Sauvage. This, to me, yes, it smells good. Yes, it's nice peeling. So is Sauvage. Because that's what Svaj is. And Broxen and Citrus with some pink pepper and spices. This is literally just Broxen and Citrus, basically. It's It just doesn't do it for me. People say, oh, it's Aventus. It does not smell like Aventus. It's unoriginal. It's boring and overly safe, in my opinion. So, Office for Men is a pass. Much rather wear Aventus. Much rather wear Svaj. Much rather wear a million other fragrances over Office for Men. Again, it's not a bad smelling fragrance. I just don't think it lives up to the hype. So, those are my four, and then the honorable mentions. Again, all of these I think are overhyped. I know a lot of these are controversial, but, you know, it is what it is. That's why I stand on that. Um, as far as tags go, I don't know who's who's all been tagged yet. Um, I will tag Aussie Fragrances and then Thomas um, Lincense. Tag both of you. Uh, and I'll also tag, I don't know if... Smelly Cat's been tagged yet. If not, I'll tag him as well. So those are the three tags. Um, but yeah, I finally got around to doing this. Let me know what fragrances you think are underrated or overrated, I mean, um, as well as if you how you feel about the fragrances I mentioned in the comments section. Again, I know these are controversial. It's just my opinion.